Hello everybody, this is Alex the Titanosaur Emperor here and today by popular request of my uh, unboxing video yesterday I'm going to do, start doing reviews of my new Korean figures uh, I got. This is from a company called Sonokong and I believe it's based off an anime called Dino Me Card. I don't know anything about it. I think this is like the Korean version of Dinosaur King but I honestly thought Hey, they look cool. And today we'll be doing a review on the one I was really excited for, the Armadillo Sucus. Now, Armadillo Sucus, which name means Armadillo Crocodile, uh, lived in the late Cretaceous of what is now Brazil. It wasn't a relatively big crocodile. Like, it was mostly terrestrial. But it was no bigger than, say, a small dog. But, as I said, I quite like the size of this one. Now, first of all, we're going to show off the little baby one. This is a little baby one you get. So, if you're wondering, uh, you can get this on Sano Kong's shop. It's all in Korean, and it's a real confusing how to get it. I used a Korean buying agent to help get these, and I probably will get a few more because these look amazing. Like, I know they have a Sintosaurus and a Uranosaurus and all that stuff like that. But let's get to the big one. And this, I got to say, first of all, some people think, okay, like, it may look a bit like a hot dog with the um, red color of the shell. I have no idea what this symbol is here. But let's get a close look up on the uh, face. I have to say, like, it's done it, like, at least it's the bare minimum. It's not like, look, you have the tongue there, but you can also make it look like it's jaw dropping. You have a few teeth here and there, like if you look up on the upper jaw, and the lower jaw. I love the detailing on the head, though. A bit of shrink wrap around the uh, skull. A bit of uh, shell on the head. I say, like, it's pretty good. The underside, um, again, it is a pretty solid figure, if you're wondering. The tail, though, it is, since it is a bit of a seam, uh, it is a bit hollow here. But, again, like, it does not really deter anything from this figure. Um... Sorry about that, uh, camera difficulties here, but I think, like I say, the tail's more cone-shaped. It kind of reminds me of Galiptodon's tail. Again, mostly spiral cone-shaped. And then we have the detail on the shell. We have all these um, different scales and plating on the top here. And I actually gotta say, like, this is, I love terrestrial crocodiles, and again, I didn't, was completely baffled when they made this, and I thought, they actually did an excellent job on it. Since this is the only known Armadillo Sucus figure, I think there is. Like, I know they made a flip tiny sore one, but I'm not interested. I just prefer these ones. Um, the feet, I, again, are pretty well done. The nails are painted. And I have to say, like, if you really want to pick this one up, I will leave a link down below where you can get it. But I do warn you, the website is in Korean, and for anyone outside of Korea, it's a real pain to get them. I recommend a buying agent, again, because they don't accept PayPal or any of that stuff. But again, this buying agent really helps because they do accept PayPal and all this stuff. Like I did with the other four figures. Um, like Again, eBay, if you're wondering, I can't find this particular, I couldn't find this particular one on eBay. So, like, the rare species, like, they've also produced the Delta Dromius, uh, Nigerosaurus. Uh, they have a Tupodaculus, which I unboxed, a few others I have. Anomalocaris, a, a few others, and even a Sashtosaurus I do know of, but again, the Sashtosaurus was out of stock. But, again, this has been my review of the um, Sonokong Dino Mikard Armadillo Sucus. My next review will probably be of the Hylomosaurus. Um, or the Tupodactylus. Let me know down below if you want to see either one, which one would you like to see first. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.